What's up, YouTube family? Welcome back or welcome to Lin Lin. Thank you guys so much for coming to check out the video today. Guys, I am so happy. I am so excited today because of you guys, my subscribers, because of you guys watching my videos and subscribing to my channel, I am now currently monetized. Yeah, I am currently monetized, guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all your support. I appreciate all the likes, the shares, the comments. Um, I appreciate you guys for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. It means so much. And I am glad that I am finally monetized, guys. And I owe it all to you guys for continuing to support me. So guys, with that being said, if you are not a member and you would like to become a member, then go ahead and join today to become a member to Lin Lin. You know, guys, so yes, thank you guys for the support. I am very grateful for that. So besides that, I am headed into Winco today to do another grocery haul. Now I have a list of foods that I wanna get. I'm trying to stick to my list today. Um, and this is just for meals that I planned out for the rest of this week. And um, like I said, I wanna stick to the list. I don't wanna go over $200. I know a lot of the things that I need are like little things and some of the little things do add up and they cost the most. So I wanna stick to my $200 budget and I do not wanna go over $200. I wanna stick to my list that I have set for myself and not go outside of my list, but I know it's always hard to not go outside of your list. All right, guys, so let's go head into Winco and see what we can find today, see what kind of deals they have going on. All right, guys, let's go. Headed into Winco Foods this morning. It is another rainy day in Portland, guys. We're gonna go in here and get this food that I have on my list. And the goal is to spend less than $200. Y'all think I can do it? Let's go in here and see. I had to walk in through the other door, but walking in, they got Pringles right here for $1.48. They also have the sparkling ice waters in here for 78 cents. They got the Starburst flavored ones in here too. They're all 78 cents for those. So I always say I like to come in here early in the morning when it's not too busy. That way I can get in and get out. Don't have to worry about the crowds. I got my list of things that I wanna get in here and I don't want to go outside of my list. So first thing I see is the asparagus. It is now 98 cents in here. So I'm definitely gonna grab some of this and it is one of the things on my list as well. All right, got my asparagus here. Put that in there. Another thing on my list is some pineapples. So I'm gonna come over here and see how much these pineapples are. Okay, so these are $1.98 in here today. So I'm gonna grab one of these. This one smells really sweet. So I'm gonna get this one right here. Bags to the bottom. Now, as far as the fruit goes, I will always have fruits on my list because my kids go through fruit a lot. So I will always have fruit on my list. Let's see, the strawberries are 248 in here. Let's see what kind of selection they have. They have some of the big ones. Let's see, I like to grab the ones in the back. I'm gonna grab a couple strawberries. I'm gonna grab three of them. My kids went through these ones pretty quick last time, so I'm gonna get three. And those ones don't look like they have much in them. These ones are good. So, 
$2.48 for the strawberries. I want to say they were a little bit cheaper at um, Fred Meyer, but I didn't like the way those packs looked at Fred Meyer's. That's why I didn't get those ones. But they are, what, 50 cents more here. They have the seedless mandarins. I'm gonna grab a bag of those because, of course, my kids love the oranges. So I got my oranges, got my strawberries. I wanted to find some blueberries. I'm gonna come back over here because I do want some blueberries as well. But these ones are $2.98. Let's see what these look like. Fresh blueberries, $2.98. Okay. These don't look bad, so I'm gonna get these as well. So this is my list. I don't know if you guys can see it, but what I did was planned out meals for the rest of this week. And I'm trying to stick to the meals that I planned out and not go outside of them. But we shall see. I'm gonna get some broccoli. I don't know, the broccoli doesn't look that great. Right now I'm gonna have to dig through here to find some good ones. I'm gonna get some broccoli though. All right, got my broccoli. So. grab of course is some bananas always got to get my bananas let's see these are all very green in here today which is not bad because the greener they are the longer it will take for them to ripen which means that they won't go bad as fast so I'm gonna grab these ones right here I don't need oranges. I still have some big oranges. I don't know, my kids haven't been really eating the oranges too much lately. So I have a lot of those still left over and they don't go bad as quick. So I'm not gonna get any of the big oranges today, but I am gonna get my lemons. Still 38 cents a piece. Got my bag of lemons and I did get 10 lemons. I usually get 10 lemons every time I come. And I've said before, I get a lot of lemons because I use them for my tea, I use them um, for my water, I use them to cook with. So I always grab a bunch of lemons. They still have all of their Easter stuff in here. They have these cute little memory foam pillows. You guys ever use these? I remember when they came out with those for like when you get on the plane and you can have those little pillows, but I've never used one before. I don't know. I never thought about using one. They have these cute little plastic chairs in here for kids. These are $6.98. These, these are cute. They have a bunch of different colors. I really like the um, kind of teal ones. These ones and the purple ones. I really like those. They're all really cute though. For $6.98, that's not bad. They have these beverage jars right here for $12.98. This is another one. I had one like this before. Um, I wanna say the lid, the spout or something broke on it and I stopped using it, of course, because I can't have things like that for too long. They got some hammocks in here for $11.98, little lounge hammocks. These are pretty cool. Great for indoor and outdoor use. Okay, they got some microfiber towels, $9.98 for the microfiber towels. This is a greenhouse kit right here for $9.98. This one doesn't have anything in it, but these ones right here do. 36 cell C starting greenhouse kit. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. They got a couple rugs in here for $29.98. They are gearing up for spring and summer as well. These are some umbrellas for $49.98. They still got all the Easter baskets in here. Unless they restocked them, it doesn't look like they've been 
selling too many. I don't know. Of course, they probably restock, but they got a bunch of little Easter basket things in here. Oh, here's where these little beverage things are. So these are $12.98 as well. They got these big bowls in here. You can get these bowls from the dollar store as well. They're $1.98 in here, $1.25 at the dollar store. I'm gonna come over here to grab my water, of course. I'm gonna grab five of these. These are $1.18 in here. And like I said in previous videos, I only use distilled water and I use it to drink and I use it to cook with as well. So I'm gonna get five of these today. I try to get those in the basket before the basket gets too heavy and before I start putting everything in because waters will get in the way. And I don't like putting them at the bottom because they'd be all over the place. So the last couple items that I need from the produce department, I think I walked right past them when I came in, is I need some sun-dried tomatoes. And they are right here. These ones at the bottom are $5.48. The bag ones are $3.98. I wanna say the last time I made this recipe that I plan on making, I did use the ones um, that are $5.48 and the ones that came in a jar. Um, I don't know the difference between the two, the ones that come in the package or the ones that come in the jar, but for the recipe that I'm gonna be using, um, I think I will get these ones. So these ones are 548 and these are just some sun-dried tomatoes. A few of my recipe also, a few of my recipes that I'll be um, putting together this week also call, call for garlic, but I already have a bunch of garlic, so I don't need any of that. The other thing that I needed is a bag of spinach. So I'm gonna come over here, back over here, and move my basket there. Come back over here and grab a bag of spinach. So I'm gonna get one of these. These are $2.28 for the bag of spinach. I wanna see if they have the bags of apples. They do have bags of apples over here. Um, they are between 248, 248, 198, 348, 358. Oh no, 358 is for the caramel apple wraps. So I do want a bag of apples. I kind of want to go back to grocery outlet and they had a bag of the Cosmic Crisp apples in there. And those were, um, I think there were three or four dollars and those ones are really, really good. But I don't want to go there today, so I'm just going to grab one of these ones. Um, I think I'm going to go with the, the Fuji apples today, but these are not Fuji apples. Oh, they are. Okay, so I'm just going to go with the bag of Fuji apples today and try to find a good bag. These ones don't look bad. And the Fuji ones are two dollars and forty-eight cents. <laughs> now, when it comes to the apples, it kind of doesn't matter which kind of apples we get because we peel the skin off the apples anyway when the kids eat them. And when I'm using them for juicing, I peel the skin off as well. So, it doesn't really matter. But they do like some apples. Some apples that are a little bit sweeter than other ones but the Fuji apples are not bad. Those are pretty good. So one of my meats that I, well, I guess it's not meat, but my seafood that I'm gonna grab is some shrimps. And I wanna use the large raw peeled with the tail on. I'm gonna grab two of these. These are $6.38 for these ones. And then I also want to get a bag of swai fillets. And 
and these are six dollars and eight cents for these so i think this bag comes with like four of them in it when i purchased a bag from um fred myers they had six in the pack and i think they were ten dollars so in here there's only four and they are um six dollars so a little bit of a difference i'm also gonna grab one of these beef smoked sausages these are three dollars and 88 cents for these these are also a part of a meal that i will be preparing this week I just want to check out the ground beef in here. It is currently only $11.98 in here right now for the $73.27 and it's $12.38 for the $80.20. Now guys, I seen a video on TikTok that completely threw me from wanting to eat ground beef. So I'm not going to get any ground beef today. I probably shouldn't have watched the video, but I did and I don't know. I kind of got a little grossed out by it. So I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to lay off the ground beef for a while. So I'm just going to stick to chicken and fish and shrimp and things like that for a little while. Um, maybe forever. I don't know right now. But the video kind of had me like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. So coming over here, they have chicken thighs for $1.58 a pound. Um, I want to get some chicken breast. So the chicken breast over here, these are $12.98, 14 So these are between $11 to $14. So I'm actually going to grab two of these ones right here. And then they literally only have the chicken drumsticks at $0.98. Cents, and they literally have one, two of them left. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this one right here. This one is $3.95. There's a guy that just came over here and grabbed all the chicken drumsticks. I sat there and watched him grab them. I didn't know what he was getting at first, but then I realized that he took all the chicken drumsticks. So he left two of them. I grabbed one of them. I had to come back this way. I forgot my heavy whipping cream. So they actually don't have a price. Oh, here they are. So heavy whipping cream, these ones are $3.37. The other ones are $6.67. I'm going to grab this one because I don't need a big one. Um, usually when I get a big one, it just goes to waste because I use it, but I don't use that much of it um, and in that capacity. So I'm only going to grab a little one of those today. And then I also needed some yogurt. I forgot to grab some yogurt over here as well. What kind of yogurt do you guys eat? I pretty much stick to what I was raised eating, which is the Yo Play. Um, I've tried Greek yogurt and things like that, but I didn't really care for them. So because they don't have the strawberry and banana and strawberry mix one today, I'm just gonna grab the mountain blueberry and mixed berry one. So I had to come back this way. Another thing on my list is Parmesan cheese. Um, I wanna say it's on the other side. So this is the kind of Parmesan cheese that I use. I use this for all my pastas. I do not buy the cheese that's packaged when it comes to making pasta because it does not melt as well. Um, these are 288 in here. I also wanna find a mozzarella cheese as well for one of my recipes and shred that um, i don't see it over here i just need a plain mozzarella cheese i'll probably have to come over here and get it on the block because i don't see it over there okay so they have this mozzarella right here this one is 506 uh -uh. This one's $5.06. And, and then they have the Winko brand. 
mozzarella cheese like this, $3.48. So I think I'm gonna grab this one because the recipe that I'm gonna be using, it calls for the cheese to be um, shredded from the block. So that's why I'll be getting this one versus the packaged cheese. They have these little Jack Link things in here, the beef and mal cheddar, $1.19. These are uncured salami and pepper jack, $1.19 as well. I've never seen these ones before. As many times as I've been in here, these ones must be new in here. But these are all $1.19. And I don't know if I want the salami, but if they had a pepperoni one, then I'll probably get that one or a beef one. But I don't know. I think these are new in here. I've never seen them, but those are $1.19. That's not bad. These little things right here, these I've seen, um, I got a couple of these from Dollar Tree. And these, like I said, are $3.34 in here in Dollar Tree. They are $1.25 for one. So I want to say it's probably a better deal to get them in here and get the three pack for $3.34. Coming down this aisle, I have to come and get my tea. Of course, I cannot leave the store without getting my tea. I am a tea drinker. I, do, I drink tea every day as opposed to drinking coffee. My go-to is tea. So the last time I got some, I got the green tea with lemon. And honestly, there was no taste difference. So I'm just gonna stick to the regular one that I get, which is the classic, and it's $2.94. The big low tea are all pretty much $2.94 for every one of them. They're all $2.94 unless you get the bigger ones and those are $4.18 or $4.84. But honestly, I thought that I would see a difference or I thought that I would taste a difference in the lemon one versus the regular one. But honestly, there was no difference in the taste whatsoever. So I'm just gonna stick with the regular one because, yeah. So here is the maple syrup in here. It is $7.98 in here. I wanna say I got it for five dollars or six dollars at grocery outlet not this same brand but organic maple syrup i do only use maple syrup um like for my kids they use it with the waffles and things like that they use it for oatmeal so that is the only syrup that i will buy um and the price goes up and down Today is $7.98. Sometimes I've seen it go down to $6, but right now that's the price in here for it. I see all these different Badia, Badia. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm pretty sure I'm saying it wrong, but I have a bunch of these in here. The lemon pepper, the lime pepper, and the orange pepper. These are all $8.68. Have you guys ever tried any of these? I say I want to try it, but then I'm like, oh, I don't want to buy a big old thing of that and then it not be good. So I haven't tried it yet. But what do you guys think? Are they pretty good or what? Okay, so the last couple things that I have on my list that I need to get. Um, I actually think I have breadcrumbs at home, so I don't need that. But I need some marinara, I need spaghetti noodles, and I need linguine noodles, um, I need honey. So I'm gonna get those last few items and then I will be done. Okay, so right now the spaghetti noodles are 98 cents in here. And then I also need a pack of linguine noodles. Let me see, got fettuccine, fettuccine linguine. The linguine noodles are $1.28. And then I just need some regular marinara sauce. So I think I'm just gonna get this Bertoli tomato and basil. And this is $2.48. And this what I'll use for my marinara. So guys, they have the black pepper turkey, the cracked black pepper turkey in here for $6.98. Now the last time I came in here, I wanna say it was $8 and some change. So I'm actually gonna grab it today because it is a little bit cheaper than it was the last time. Although it's still expensive, I'm gonna grab it today because it's on sale. Do you guys like not shortbread cookies? They have a whole thing of these in here for 28 cents. They have the boysenberry, the strawberry. These are the raspberry. 
Knott's Berry Farm shortbread cookies, 28 cents a piece. Okay guys, I got everything on my list. I got a couple things that weren't on my list. How much do you guys think all this is? I don't know, I'm hoping to keep it under 200. Pretty sure it's under 200. Under 100, I don't know, we shall see. 150, something like that. I don't know guys. But we're gonna head up to the register right now to see exactly how much I spent on this haul today. And like I said, I try to stick to my list here. And for the most part I did, I bought just a couple things that were not on my list. Other than that, I think I did pretty good sticking to just getting things on my list today. So guys, let's head to the register and see how much all this comes up to. All right, guys, so that is the end of my grocery haul for Winko. I spent exactly, I showed the total at the end, but I want to say it, I spent exactly $164.02. So I stayed under my $200 budget. And then when I got in there, I kind of said that I didn't want to go outside of the things that I had on my list which there was a couple things that I did get that were outside of my list, but not too many. But that if I would have stuck with the things that I had on my list, I'm pretty sure that I would have spent less than $150. But there was a couple things, like I said, there was the turkey that wasn't on my list. Um, I had tortillas that weren't on my list, but I get those things just because um, for the items that I did get, it wasn't bad. I'm glad that I did stay under $200 though, because I didn't want to go over that. Um, you know, so I'm pretty much happy with my purchases today, guys. So thank you again so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for liking and commenting and all that good stuff. Guys, that is the end of the video and I will see you guys in the next video. All right, bye.